Hello everyone, my name is Taylor and today I'm going to be sharing with you my January favorites. I say this every month I feel like, but how is January already over? The first month of 2016 is already done with. I know this is kind of early for uh, January favorites to be put up I feel like, but I am including some favorites that I had that were part of my December favorites, which I didn't have a December favorites video. So these are kind of combined. A lot of you seem to love these videos, which makes me really happy. And you guys are always in the comments on each video like, make a November favorites, make this, make that. And I'm really excited to be sharing with you my January favorite. So if you want to see this, then just keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to be talking about is makeup favorites. Of course, I have to mention makeup favorites because I love makeup and of course, I find a new product every month to just obsess over. That is very typical because I seem to buy a new product or try out a new product every single month. First, I'm going to be talking about a concealer. This is the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Classic Ivory. I use this to cover up my dark circles and it blends out really well with my finger and my finger makes it really like warm to just blend right into my skin. I have been loving this underneath my Naked Skin um, concealer. This has just been doing a really good job to cancel out the blueness on my inner corner because it is more of a peachy tone, so it cancels it all out. Next product that I have been loving for the past couple months is my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper. This is just the jet black one. This is my second time buying this liner. And I love it. I live by this eyeliner to create a really nice wing. I'm not sure if I mentioned this in a previous video, but this does the job. I've had so many hard times trying to get the perfect wing, and I can create so many different types of wing with this liner. Next, I'm going to talk about our three lippies, all by the same brand, ColourPop. Um, these are three that I have just been wearing non-stop these past couple months. If you guys saw my what I got for Christmas video, then you saw these lippies. This first one is Kapow, and I'm gonna give you guys a swatch on my wrist. Wrist, wrist, wrist. <laughs> um, that is it right there. It's kind of a brownie pink with purple undertones. Every time I wear this lipstick, a few of my friends joke around with me like, what'd you just eat, a purple popsicle? Because it does give that effect having pink undertone lips. So the way it reflects off the light, it kind of does look like a bruised purple. My next favorite is Stingray. This is just a beautiful dark pink that is basically has been an everyday lip color for me. Um, I've just been pairing this with every single eye look that I've been wearing lately because I've been wearing very simple eyes with a pretty bold lip. Okay, so this one is Avenue. It is a beautiful, bloody, deep red. Beautiful with a nice wing liner and a basic plain face. I love that look. It's just a classic look and I definitely recommend these liquid lipsticks. Last couple makeup products that I'm gonna talk about are my Makeup Geek eyeshadows, and I'm not gonna talk about every single color that I have, but I am gonna talk about a few favorites that I have been using constantly. So, of course, me being me, I really stick to very neutral colors, and the two that I have been loving lately are Latte and Cocoa Bear, Cocoa Bear. These are my favorite eyeshadows right now, this one being more of an orangey tone brown and this one being more of a beige brown. I love these. I have this one. I have both of them on actually today and I use them practically every day. I do need to expand my horizons when it comes to eye makeup looks, but I am just in my comfort zone of having just a simple eye. I love simple makeup. I think it just enhances beauty. Um. But yeah, those are my two favorites right now. I also recommend those eyeshadows. They are very low price and I can't wait to fill up my Z palette. <laughs> Next, I want to talk about fashion favorites. And right now in my life, I think fashion is really speaking to me more than ever. I gotta admit in eighth grade, a little short story, I used to wear the same pair of sweatpants and the same shirt every other day. I'd make my mom wash it that night and then I'd wear it the two days after. So I'd wear it every other day. 
That is disgusting. I'm so embarrassed. Why would I do that? Now I actually try and I do get ugh, and I do get compliments on my outfits. Um, but I'm just really happy of I finally like discovered my style. If you guys want a video on how to discover your style, then let me know in the comments down below because trust me, I have gone through a lot of style phases and some that I am not proud of. But I just want to share with you guys my favorite shoes right now and they will be my favorite shoes ever and I won't be happy. I'm just kidding. I'll be happy if I don't get every color, but I would love to have every color in these shoes. These are my Superstar Adidas. Let's just admire them for a second. Beautiful. Beautiful. I love these shoes so much and they go with everything. They can go with a dress. They can go with jeans. They can go with sweatpants. They can go with anything. This, These are just a beautiful shoe and I just love them. I want every color. I want beige. I want black. I want green, maroon. Give me every color and I think I'll be set for life. My next fashion favorite is this bomber jacket. Oh my god, it's really washing me out, but I'll show you guys. This is my black bomber puffy jacket from Misguided, and it is all orange on the inside. It is just a classic. I think bomber jackets are really in right now, and another thing that I would like in every color is this bomber jacket. Misguided is a really cool website. I love the style, and I'm really excited to like go spring shopping on that website. And that's also where I got my New Year's Eve dress. If you guys want to check that video out, then just click right here. But I love Misguided. That website has really cool different styles. And this bomber jacket is really warm, comfy, and stylish. <laughs> Alright, another one of my favorites this month is being healthy. Okay, I have been going to the gym strictly like every day. And if not going every day, I go every other day and the days that I don't go I'm usually working out at home. I have had a lot of motivation lately um, to work out and to get myself feeling good because I feel like working out is a really nice stress reliever. Two of my favorite snacks right now are popcorn with sea salt, no butter, no olive oil, nothing like that, and a little bit of pepper and another snack of mine that I've been loving is fruit salad. I love clementines. I just ate two and I used to hate them, but I've really just like been eating healthy and I've been loving it and I've been feeling really motivated and going to the gym to me isn't like, oh, I gotta go to the gym. I'm like, yes, I gotta go to the gym. I really like going to the gym and working out and I think it's really nice to just release my stress. I love working out right now. So that's one of my favorites. But yeah. Okay, so a few songs that I have been loving are King Kunta. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong because he says it so fast, but it's by Kendrick Lamar. Such good vibes in that song. Love working out to that. I also loved Shades of Grey, the Damned Flip remix. Really good song. My friend Julia showed me that. Awesome song. The one that I've been loving is Close Off by Ellie Ear and the whipped cream remix is really good. I love her voice. And the last one that I've been loving is Show Me Love, the EDX Indian Summer remix by Sam Feldit. Fed it. I really love remixes and I wouldn't say EDM, but I do love house music. It's a type of genre of music and I constantly am just playing it whenever I'm doing anything and I just love having those good vibes. If you are a good vibed person, we can totally get along. So that is it for my January favorites. If you guys like this video, of course, please give it a thumbs up. It would mean the world. Also subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate that. And check out some of my last videos if you're interested. And if you subscribe, you're obviously gonna be notified if, when, not if, when I post videos in the future. Please follow my Instagram and Twitter. It is just at Simply Taylor B. I have been posting on Instagram more frequently, so I'm really proud of that. So hit up my Instagram, Twitter. I tweet random things sometimes. So if you're interested on Twitter or Instagram, then please go follow me there. I also have a vlogging channel that like no one knows about, but the link will be below and I'll say it. It is 
youtube.com backslash more simply taylor b i just posted a vlog on there a couple weeks ago and it's something that i want to try to keep up with in the new year um whenever i do fun things i want to show you guys as well again thank you guys so much for watching and i'll talk to you guys next time bye my records oh my god okay ripped cream view the rip oh my god it for my january 5th i'm itchy